Well, hello everybody, uh, and it is it is Friday, uh, March the fifth. I think I've got the date right today. Friday, March the fifth. I know we're on maybe just a little bit later than normal, not too much later, uh, but. Uh, good to be with you, man. We had uh, just a great time last night uh, with the Maranatha Baptist group, uh, and it was exciting to uh, to hear all those young people singing. Their choir uh, singing last night. They did ju- they did just an amazing job, uh, and there's such an encouragement. And the service was so uplifting uh, as they praised the Lord in song and uh, hearing the. Uh, the handbells and then the brass uh, playing all that was so good, uh, and it was just uh, it was just a great night, exciting night, and just beautiful music and so encouraging. Uh, I want to thank all all those who were able to come out. Thanks for coming out, uh, and uh, it was just uh, it was just it was just great. Uh, I went away last night just thinking, man, I I can't imagine what heaven's going to be like, and just the. Uh, uh, the music and the praising of of our God uh, and Savior, and it's just uh, it's just going to be awesome. Just uh, look that much, look forward that much more uh, to heaven. Uh, and so, man, it was just a great night. And then uh, to top it all off, I know we had mentioned that yesterday that Michigan was playing Michigan State, um, uh, the University of Michigan. Um, I don't want to get too proud here, but uh, Michigan uh, humbled state pretty good there. And uh, a couple times where I think Michigan was pushing close to 30 point lead and uh, ended up winning by 19, but they did a great job. Uh, and uh, I was watching a uh, video and of uh, James. He had to do 20 pushups because his team lost. Uh, and so. Uh, and so I was watching uh, James's video on his push-ups. He did them. He honored uh, honored the uh, the little uh, uh, challenge there. And uh, Michigan won, and I won, and uh, and I got to see James do some push-ups. So uh, so it's just been a great start to the morning already for me. And uh, I hope you're having a good day as well. Listen, it's Friday, uh, and we've got you know a wonderful weekend planned as we look to getting together once again and worshiping the Lord together uh, for church services. So I hope you'll be here for that. I do want to encourage also our teenagers are going to First Baptist Church of Bridgeport tomorrow uh, for a youth conference. And so you be in prayer for them. Be in prayer for us as we travel. I pray that God would speak to our young people's hearts uh, and uh, to those that will be going. I'll be taking them down, my wife and I, and uh, the Barnettes are going down as well to chaperone. And uh, and I hope that... Uh, uh, pray that the Lord will speak to our hearts as well. It's going to be a great time. We're leaving at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning and be returning probably close to 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. But it's just going to be a great time and pray for our young people. And then be here for the services. We've got our March Madness Sunday School Contest. Uh, and most of us never played college basketball and were never involved in March Madness. So this is now your chance. I want to encourage you. Get out, be a part of a Sunday school class be, beginning Sunday, if you aren't a part of one, uh, and uh, be a part of the March Madness contest. Sunday school starts at 945, uh, and it'll be a, just a great time as we get further instruction on the Word of God, but also uh, it's a chance to, for you to get uh, connected to a Sunday school class. And so I want to encourage you along those lines. Special prize for the class that increases the most above their average attendance for 2021. And so uh, help a class win. Be sure to be in Sunday school. We'll be competing each week uh, for the month of March. All right. Anyway, let's uh, enough announcements. Uh, Let's get into the word of God. Psalm 71. That's why we're here. Uh, And to look into the word of God. Thank you so much for being with me this morning. Uh, Let's look. We're going to kind of pick up where we left off in Psalm 71. We finished with verse number nine. I just kind of want to go back to verse number nine. Uh, just to kind of refresh our memory just a little bit of where we're at. Verse number 9 of Psalm 71 says, Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth. And so we we know and understand this psalm was written uh, for uh, individuals that are dealing with old age, and uh, we're not getting any younger. Uh, I'm going to say we're not old. 
Uh, but we aren't getting younger, all right? We'll, we'll put it that way. That's a nice way of saying that we're getting old, but don't tell anybody we're getting older, okay? Uh, we're just uh, further along the youngness scale, all right? Uh, so this psalm is for those that uh, uh, that are aging. That sounds maybe a little bit better. We're aging. Uh, and so, so the psalmist here uh, has looked back uh, at God's provision, protection, blessing, uh, and uh, as he lives this life. And so look with me down, verse number 10. Uh, we see it just a bit of the difficulty uh, that this individual is facing. Verse 9, he says, Cast me not off the time of old, old age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth. So asking the Lord to remain with him, even though uh, he isn't what he used to be physically, or uh, and uh, praying that God would continue to be with him. Verse number 10, For mine enemies speak against me, <coughs> And they that lay way for my soul take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him, persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. Uh, o God, be not far from me, O my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my heart. And so the psalmist here is saying, God, uh, first of all, he says, hey, don't leave me. Don't forsake me uh, when my strength fails. And he says, uh, God, when enemies are against me. Now, whether these are physical enemies that are seeking to destroy him and come after him, or maybe it's just his his body getting older and and just not working the way that it used to. Uh, and so it can be a bit of a, a discouragement sometimes. Uh, he says, uh, his enemies, they lay wait uh, for my soul, take counsel together. Uh, and then verse number 11, God hath forsaken him, his enemy, uh, but but he seeks strength from the Lord. Uh, and then he says for his enemies uh, to be confounded uh, and his adversaries to be consumed. Uh, and then we get into verse number 11. So we have this prayer of God asking the Lord to meet his needs. Uh, and then verse number 14. Before even the needs are met, before his prayers answered, verse number 14, he says, But I will hope continually uh, and will yet praise thee more and more. Uh, so he says, Even though my strength is failing, my body is, is overcome because of old age, and even though I've got adversaries round about me uh, and I've got enemies, he says, I will hope continually. Uh, and will yet praise thee more and more. And so uh, today as Christians, may that be our prayer, that no matter the difficulty, we'll continue to praise the Lord. We'll continue to honor the Lord. Uh, we'll continue to, uh, uh, to, to serve the Lord, even though maybe our body is failing, even though maybe our, uh, our enemies are, are around us and, and the negativity is around us, Hey, may we purpose in our heart and in our mind, hey, I'm going to continue to praise God. And I like this at the end of verse number 14. He doesn't just say, I will yet praise thee. He says, I will yet praise thee more and more. His praise is going to increase. And you know what? Last night, as we heard that choir, praise God and thank God and worship the Lord. Uh, man, you talk about praising God more and more. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, I might not be able to sing uh, uh, like that group sang or play an instrument like that group played, but you know what? I can make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Uh, and so, man, I, I praise God with everything that I have. Uh, when we're singing, man, I, I I feel sorry for the people around me sometimes because I just keep I just I sing loud uh, because because God has done so much for me, and I want to praise Him. And I don't do it to exalt myself; I do it to exalt my Lord. Uh, and and to show, hey, I'm not ashamed of my Savior, of my God, and what He has done for me, what He will continue to do for me. Let's let's go just a couple more verses here. Verse number fifteen, He says, "My mouth shall show forth Thy righteousness and Thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof." Uh, think about think about this just for a moment. Uh, he says he's going to continue to praise God. Uh, show forth his righteousness and thy salvation all the day. And then he closes out verse number 15, for I know not the numbers thereof. The numbers of what? Well, we could say he doesn't know the, the number of the days that he has left on this earth. 
He doesn't know the number of days uh, left that he could praise God, the number of days left that he could serve God. And so while he has breath, he's going to serve God and he's going to praise the Lord uh, with what he has left. And he doesn't know, uh, listen, he doesn't even know the the strength that he has left uh, based upon previous verses. And so while he has the strength, he's going to praise. And then uh, verse number 16, he says, I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. Uh, and just kind of, if you will, maybe a a foreshadowing maybe of, of Philippians 4, verse number 13, uh, where it says, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. I heard even... Uh, even last night, somebody giving testimony of that verse, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Uh, and uh, and so thankful for the strength that God gives. Hey, when we feel like we can't go on, when when maybe mentally we're struggling, when maybe we're discouraged, we're dis- uh, depressed, and uh, man, when life just seems to kick us while we're down, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. The psalmist says, I will go in the strength of the Lord God. And so let's let's live today in God's strength. Let's praise God today for who he is, what he has done, and for what he's going to do. Uh, and let's praise him more and more. So I want to leave you with those thoughts for the day. Thank you so much for being on. If you're catching this in the morning live, thanks for watching live. If you're later on the day, thanks for being a part of uh, the Power Up later on as well. Uh, and I want to encourage you once again. I hope to see you Sunday as we look at uh, uh, at March Madness, and we're going to start kind of a series here as we go through the, through the month of March and our messages. Uh, we're going to look into the scriptures, and uh, our series is going to be Marching Madness. Uh, and uh, I want to encourage you to be here for all those services. Marching Madness is kind of the theme for the month uh, for our messages, and I hope that they'll be a blessing to you. Uh, I don't. They've already been an encouragement to me as I've, I've looked into the Word of God and studied. Uh, and I know that there'll be a blessing to you as well as you allow the Lord to lead. So I encourage you to be here Sunday as we as we kick off our March Madness Sunday School Contest and we kick off our sermon series of Marching Madness. All right, uh, Lord bless you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you uh, Sunday, Lord willing, and Monday for our devotion time. Have a great rest of the day and a great weekend.